It is time for the Crimson Invasion. I don't really know where I'm going with that. Um, there's a new Pokemon card set out. Actually, it's been out for like a week now. I just forgot about it. Anyway, as you can see here, I have uh, both the promo versions of the triple packs. We have the Lucario one and the Decidueye one. So I'm going to open them both up and take a look what's in the packs. That's what Poke Openings is. Let's get into it. Okay, so uh, just a quick look at the pack as well, that's the promo, the coin that comes with it is a Shaman one that we'll look at in a second, there's three packs as always, that is the back featuring Sylvale, and that is the description, if anyone wants to read it, maybe pause or something, and actually that is the description I meant to show you guys, which is just the outline of the set, it just seems to basically uh, focus on the Ultra Beasts, which is pretty cool, and Sylvale GX seems to kind of be the... Uh, main card of the set. Right, so without further ado, let's get into this. Uh, I like the design, uh, it's got red kind of stuff there. I'm not sure why it's the Crimson Invasion though. I don't really understand that because there's no specific Ultra Beast that's Crimson really uh, in colour or anything, but whatever. Right, let's get these packs out. Uh, oh, this has got extensive amounts of glue here. Uh, just put the code card to one side. There are three packs, as I said. Let's take a look at the coin. Uh, it's a very nice Shaman one. I really like Shaman, so I don't think we've had this coin before, but I could be wrong. And this is the Lucario card that comes with it. A uh, very nice holographic there, and that is his ability and attack. Sorry about that, a jump cut. Uh, right, yes. Very nice looking card there. I was also given a second one of these when I bought it in a local card shop. Uh, they told me it was a pre-release promo, but it clearly isn't because it's the same one that comes in here. Anyway, we have three packs with Silvalli, Kartana, and Buzzwall. Okay, that's interesting. So I'm going to start with the Buzzwall pack, as that is my least favourite of the Ultra Beasts, I think. Uh, he's not necessarily a bad looking Ultra Beast. I just prefer the other ones, really. Uh, Guzzlord I'd really like to get in card form. Alright, uh, so I believe it's four to the front, as with the other Sun and Moon boosters. Let's put the cord card to one side. And let's start off with an energy, and that is Darkness Energy. Okay, we have Haunter. Actually a very nice looking card there. I like the artwork. We have uh, Psychic Memory. Oh, nice. So this is to go with Sylvalli because you can add different memory chips or whatever to him to change his uh, change his element, kind of like Gensect and Arceus. We have a Mill Tank just chilling by the tree there. We've got... Oh, okay, a Swablu. Haven't seen Swablu in the set for quite a while, actually. Uh, nice looking Swablu there. We have got a uh, Shelmet, I was going to say Shelder then, but that is definitely not what this is. We have... Oh, Stuffle! Okay, that's cute. That's a very cute card. I thought for a second this is a Fairy Energy, which is very confusing, but it is not, obviously. We have Cacnea. Uh, oh, okay. Interesting pose for Cacnea there. I didn't know it could run. I didn't know it had feet, actually. Cacnea have feet? I suppose it does. Uh, well, it must do, because the card shows it. Our, okay, this is in reverse. Uh, we have Staryu, just chilling in the water. Our reverse, e, there we are, is, ooh, Pumpkaboo, yeah, boy. I feel like I've seen that artwork in another set before, but I could be wrong. It might just be a Pumpkaboo shooting, you know, lights from its eyes, as before. And the last card, the rare or whatever, is, okay, it's a rare, and that is Regigigas. That's pretty cool. I haven't seen... Uh, Regigigas in a card set for quite a while now. Actually, it could have been in Shining Legends, I just didn't know about it. And that is his ability and stuff, for those of you interested. So, that was a pretty cool first pack. Quick update thing, hopefully I've inserted this in the right part of the video. Uh, Regigigas is actually a hollow. It's a very subtle kind of hollow, and you can only see it in certain angles, but while putting this away, I did notice there was actually a shine to it. It's a bit of a subtle one, but that is... Pretty cool. Anyway, uh, on to the next pack. Uh, definitely digging some of the art there. The Hunter was uh, particularly pretty cool. Okay, next up is uh, we'll go Cartana. 
I like Silvale. Uh, he's quite quite fond of him. I also like Katana. Although he, well, the main reason I like Katana is he reminds me a lot of the angels from Evangelion. He doesn't remind me of a specific angel, um, just that he's a weird geometric shape or whatever. Which is an interesting design, you know, for a Pokemon. So, let's begin the second pack with a fighting energy. Next up, we have a Staravia. And after that, oh, okay, yay! We have a Grumpig. I haven't seen the Spunk line in card sets in quite a while either. And, oh, wow, this is a really cool looking Mawile, actually. Very dynamic posing. And I like the, uh, steel thing because in every set they kind of change what steel looks like in the bottom part we have a salam salandit sorry about that it's not a salamandit pretty basic art there but definitely interesting next up is a feebas that's good that means melotic is in this set i quite like feebas his design has grown on me over the years and next up is cubon Pretty basic looking cube one. Interesting, interesting look to his eye there. It's a bit different than usual. I don't know. He looks just slightly different than his usual uh, depictions. We have Shellos, uh, both the male and female one, with their fantastic hair things. Next up is uh, Bunnelby. Okay, that's that's nice. That does mean Diggersby is probably a rare. Let's face it, Diggersby is going to be a rare that if I open many of these packs, I'll probably pull about 18 of him or something. Oh man! Hello! So I know it's a reverse, obviously, but that's a cool looking Gengar card. I really hope this is actually a hollow as well. It probably is. Man, that is that is nice looking. It's pretty basic art, but I don't know, it's uh, it's pretty impactful. What will our rare be? Okay, it's a camera up. Pretty, pretty nice artwork on that, actually, as well. That is his moves and stuff, if those of you are interested. Oh, I thought that was a five energy attack then. I was going to say that, wow, that is, that is a significant amount of uh, energy investment there. So, this is our final pack of the Lucario uh, triple pack blister thing. I may put this in two videos, I don't know. I'll see how long this one runs and then... I'll see. I think two videos is probably the easiest format. Uh, I know we're messing with the YouTube algorithm there of making every video ten minutes. Although actually this probably will be ten minutes by the time I finish this. Well, let's put four to the front. And let's start with a steel energy. Next up. Ooh, okay. Is a uh, peaking red card. Sorry. I paused for a second, someone's setting off fireworks in the background, which is bizarre, because Guy Fawkes Night was last weekend. Interesting. Ooh, we got another Grumpig. Okay. We have another Morwell. Okay, again, slight deja vu here. Hey, okay, we've got a Minchino, which means the Chinchino is probably a rare in this set as well. I don't know, or maybe it's an uncommon, maybe I'm being very pessimistic here. Oh man, that's a really cool Weedle, actually. I really like Weedle, it's a very simple design. I prefer Caterpie, but that's a really cool looking card, actually. Uh, next up is that cube one again with a slightly weird eye. And we have the Salandit again. Okay, this is a very, uh, very similar pack to the last two we opened. We have a Feebas. Ooh, hello, our reverse is a Magikarp. Man! Ah, oh, I thought that was an angry Magikarp for a second there, but it's actually not. Is that a fake Magikarp? Is that Team Rocket's Magikarp uh, thing they used to pedal around in? I can't tell. That's... I want to know the story behind this card, actually. Submerge. Uh, interesting. Right, can we pull a hollow for the last pack of this triple pack? Uh, we can't, no. Okay, but we did pull a Starmie, and that's kind of like a hollow, except it's not, and it's still just a regular rare. Well, you know, that's nice. That's a 3D Starmie, which is interesting. That's its ability, if anyone wants to read it. So, that about wraps up uh, the first pack of this, which is the Lucario Promo Edition. Uh, that is a very, very nice card, though, I will say. And I'm really digging the coin. Anyway, stay tuned. 
for part two, which I'll probably put a link to at the end of this video, to see the Decidui pack where we get a hollow. Just a hollow is fine really. I don't I'm not really banking on getting a GX or anything. But stay tuned for that.